Hi, I'm Kristen Robinson, and today we're going to be taking these great wooden houses and turning them into little miniature chalkboards. So, what you'll need is you'll need a little bit of white acrylic paint, you'll need chalkboard paint or black paint, a paint palette, something to protect your work surface, and a paintbrush, and maybe a little bit of water. So let's get started on creating wee little chalkboard houses. I have my white acrylic paint on my paintbrush, and I also protected my surface with a piece of palette paper. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the surface of the blank house. And I like to do all sides of this so that no matter where you look at the house, you get a nice view. So go ahead and completely cover your house with the white paint, set it aside to dry, and then we'll move on to the chalkboard portion. The next step in creating our chalkboard house is actually applying the chalkboard paint. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the paint on my paintbrush, and I'm going to paint on a very rustic rectangle. And I just want this to be very freeform in its nature. And the big trick with the chalkboard paint is you really want to let this dry thoroughly. Go ahead and fill it in. And then if you see any vertical lines or horizontal lines, just go back with a second coat and go over that once more so it's nice and flat. And then set that aside to dry. The next thing that I like to do after my chalkboard paint has dried is add a roof line and I just use a ruler and a black colored pencil and I just roughly draw a straight line across the roof. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shading and again I'm going to use the black colored pencil and I just kind of take the tip of it and run it along the edges. And then using the same color pencil I'm going to go ahead and just add some sentiments to the sides of the houses as well as the top. So go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you back here with the rest of the houses that I created and we'll add a few more embellishments and we'll be done. See I added sentiments across the top of the roof as well as the sides and I added a little heart as well on the top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple extra embellishments and I'm going to use the bottom of my paintbrush to make some polka dots and I have some red paint here and I'm just going to dip right into it Make sure you really cover the end because that's going to be the point of your dot. And I'm just going to place three dots on the smallest house. And then I'm going to do that on the next smallest house. And this just adds a little more definition to the piece. And then I'm going to add some black dots on the largest piece. So I'm going to need to wipe off my paintbrush really well. And again, just place it into the paint and in the same manner in which I made the red dots, I'll make the black dots. So set this aside to dry for a few minutes and then we'll write our sentiment on our chalkboards and we'll be done. As you can see, my houses are complete and I've written on them with chalk. I just put I love you and the great thing about these is you can put any sentiment you want to on the little houses and you can create as many of them as you'd like to. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact Stampington at stampington.com and remember you can find all of these goodies and treasures in the shop at Stampington.